Hi, Shirisha. Hi, sir. Good morning. Good morning, Shirisha. How are you? I'm good, sir. Thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm also good. Thank you for asking. And yeah, Shirisha, uh, tell me about yourself something. Yes, sir. My full name is Sri Shirisha Bannavakthula. I'm from Hyderabad. Okay. I have completed BTEC in Mechanical Engineering and Masters in Mechatronics Engineering. I have worked in Amazon as a Customer Service Associate for one year. And at the moment, I am taking training at Magnitude Institute for manual testing and automation testing. I have completed manual testing and Java. And automation testing has just started. My hobbies are I like to paint and draw. And my strengths are that I am a quick learner and I adapt to situations nicely. My goal is to get a good software job in a reputed company. Yeah, uh, yes, uh, that's fine, Shirisha. Okay, so you are good at manual and as well as automation. Yes, sir. automation yeah. we have started. I'm yeah, yeah, no problem. So actually, so actually this, uh, this is for only manual testing. Okay. So, yeah, Shirisha, what is manual testing? Manual testing is the process of manually validating a developed software to find defects. Okay. So, what you are finding here? So, why you are validating things? So, based on which category we are validating the application? The customer requirements, sir. As per customer requirements. The, the, uh, the developed software the customer requirements or not we test and if it is not meet in at any place it is meeting the requirements then we call it as a defect yeah okay that's fine so in manual how many levels you are going to perform a testing there are four levels of testing in manual testing sir first is unit testing integration testing system testing and user acceptance testing okay so each and everyone should be uh, done by a tester. Actually, uh, unit testing and integration testing are done by the development team. The manual team also done does it. I mean, the testers also do it. So developers and uh, testers both do unit testing and integration testing. But the tester is the only one who does system testing and user acceptance test. Yeah, yes, yes, that's fine. OK. So, coming to that, what is the difference between verification and validation? Verification is also known as static testing. Validation is also known as dynamic testing. In verification, we ensure that we are building the right product or not. In validation, we are ensuring that we have built the product right. In verification, we do conduct uh, reviews, walkthroughs, and inspections. In validation, we we do uh, functional and non-functional testing. Yeah. Yes. So basically, these four levels of testing coming under validation. Yes. Actually, uh, yes, sir. All the four tests comes under uh, validation. Okay. So to perform this validation, so we can basically we are following the positive and negative approaches. So yes, what yes, what is the difference between positive testing and negative testing? Positive testing is testing the application with valid inputs. And in negative testing, we test the application invalid or incorrect data. Positive testing is done to ensure that the system or application is working as expected with expected inputs. And negative testing is done to check the stability of the system. Okay, so yeah, yeah, that's fine. So, is it mandatory to do negative testing? Yes, sir. It is mandatory to do negative testing because we, uh, when we do negative testing, we know that the how the application behaves when we give incorrect data. It should not accept incorrect data. It should tell the user that you have entered incorrect data. Please enter valid data. It should give a notification like that. And we should check whether the system is not accepting incorrect data. Okay, so yeah, uh, what you are saying, I'm agreeing with you. So you know the process of like testers, like uh, software testing lifecycle process. 
Yes, sir. So, explain Yes, sir. Software testing life cycle is the process followed by the testing team in which they do different activities from like when from when the uh, project is taken by the client uh, by us for the client and in uh, stlc we have six stages starting with requirement analysis test planning test case design test uh, environment setup test execution test closure yes that's fine so yes uh, shirisha what you were saying theoretically it is okay so coming to the interview point of view we need to explain like uh, in first phase we are analyzing that requirement and we are going to plan how what to test and and how to test and then only we are going to prepare the test cases and scenarios here we are getting the up to expectation and to prepare this test data we are using test design techniques then we are going to the environment setup so each and every operating system browsers so then only we are going to execute the test cases then we are getting a report so if the report getting pass we can go to the close if report getting fail we can say it is a defect and send to the developer okay so this way you need to explain. okay yeah uh, that's fine so so uh, coming to the stlc i said that like there is a execution so we are getting yes. some fake report okay so uh, you know the prioritization concept yes sir so what is the priority and uh, so give me one example of high priority defect yes sir priority is the order in which the developer has to fix a defect okay and actually whenever we have uh, different uh, defects then the uh, developer will check the priority of the defect so there are three okay. levels of priority low priority medium priority and high priority high priority okay. defects are fixed first it's like that and an example of high priority defect is maybe if there is a uh, spelling mistake in the name of the website on the main page or home page of the website then it is a high priority defect okay yeah uh, that's fine so yes priority is nothing but how much of importance like urgency we need to fix it is first okay so that's why we are giving this priority yes that's good and can you explain the difference like what is test case and what is test scenario yes sir test scenario is a feature in a software to be tested and a okay. test case is a step by step instruction on how to perform a test on a given functionality in a software okay so simply uh, can you say in one word so what is scenario and what is case i can give an example sir yeah, okay fine okay yeah, yeah. if we have a website like amazon then we have different functionalities in the in amazon like uh, login functionality register functionality and uh, shopping all those things then add uh, like the one feature like login is one software scenario sorry testing okay. scenario and register is another scenario then adding the product to cart is another scenario these are scenarios what is a test case what are the inputs that we are giving to login page and whether we what are the steps that we have to follow to execute login that, those are this those are called test cases yes those steps Fine. yes also oh, when we are going to answer this scenario and case so test scenario is nothing but what to test in the application Test case is nothing but a how to test the application. Okay. Yes. So yeah. that's fine. So you are saying we are giving some inputs. So yeah. it is nothing but a some test data. Okay. So basically, uh, to develop this test data, we required a test design techniques. Okay. There is a one concept. So uh, can you uh, explain that uh, test design techniques? Yes, sir. Test design techniques are used to reduce the amount of test data that we give to the application. And there are uh, five different test design techniques. One is boundary value analysis, equivalence class partition, uh, decision table, 
state transition and error guessing okay fine yes so there is a fine yeah, the, that's fine so yeah finally i can go with the uh, one question so in your view what is the difference between bug release and bug leakage yes sir bug release is when a particular version of the software is released with a set of known bugs usually these bugs are of low priority and low severity actually the developer will already know that there are some bugs in the software but they will still release the software that is called as bug release because they they'll fix those they are low priority and low severity defects bug leakage is when end user or the customer finds the defects means that these defects were not found by the testing team before the release yes sir yes absolutely correct so uh, simply uh, we need to say so when the developer and tester they know there is a defect and they are they know and they are sending to the production environment is known as bug release sometimes yes. tester cannot find the bug but in user acceptance testing user can find that bug that bug is known as bug leakage okay yes uh sirisha so i am going with the final answer quickly explain the bug life cycle bug life cycle bug life cycle is the different stages through which a defect or bug passes through from the starting point to the ending point so okay. in bug life cycle there are some stages like new assigned open fixed uh, retest and closure when a, a developer when a bug is assigned to the developer he can change the uh, status of the bug to deferred duplicate or uh, rejected and when a bug is uh, fixed by the developer then the tester if he finds the defect again then he can assign the status of the bug to retest uh, sirisha so you are working in amazon right yes sir i have previously worked in amazon after that i did mtech okay so why you are switching to like already in amazon you are working as a customer support so why you are yes. switching to the it sir with it there is a better career growth and uh, and also the financial aspect is also good when it comes to it so i am searching for jobs in it sir okay so when you can like work hard in customer support there also you can like growth like a lot of money you can growth so there is also like a like a high level packages so actually with customer support my knowledge base will never increase sir i will only be serving customers with the existing knowledge base i want to learn more i want to explore more and i want to in, uh, like increase my knowledge base also as besides that i have i have good technical skills i want to utilize those skills as well yeah yeah okay shirisha i done with my side you have any questions no sir yeah, yeah that's fine shirisha and thank you thank you for your time okay sir yeah thank okay. you sir thank you for giving me the opportunity sir yeah okay yes sir. Okay, sir.